In this video, you will learn how to connect a model using Node Merge in Ansys Mechanical. Node Merge is a powerful feature that applies to all models, for example, surface models, line models, solid models, or mixed models. Node Merge will help you connect models together without using contacts. Contact is a very useful capability, but there are situations where mesh continuity is more appropriate. Here we have a beam and shell model, or a surface and line model. It has already been largely connected using mesh connections. Let's take a look at the cross sections of the geometry. I can see that the beam cross sections are shown with the cross section profile. The surfaces are also shown. Now I'll select Show Mesh and Show Thickness. This gives the shell elements thickness and the beams have a cross section. Next, I'll disable the cross sections and thickness so that we can take a look at the raw model. We can see that only a portion of the model is connected currently, the portion made up of surface bodies. If I turn on edge connectivity, I can see the purple edges and black seams where parts are connected. The rest of the model, where the beams connect to the shells, is not connected. I could confirm that the model is not connected by performing a modal solution, but there's a better way to do this. First, I'm going to turn on node numbering. Anywhere I see node numbers overlapping, it means that there are two unconnected nodes, and the geometry is not conformal. I can correct this using the node merge capability. To do this, I'll select the mesh edit node and add a node merge group. The node merge group applies to all geometry by default. I can adjust the tolerance for the node merge group by changing the tolerance value. I'll specify a size of 2 mm to merge nodes within this range. I want to create face-to-face -face connections as well as edge-to-edge -edge connections. This will ensure that beam edges and shell faces will be connected. I'll select Connect Mesh to complete this operation. A message panel will display the results of the node merge, including the number of nodes merged. I want to verify the merge, so I'll turn node numbers back on and return to my overlapping nodes. I can see now that there is only one node in this position, and that the model is now connected in this region. This concludes this demonstration of node merge.